Money to pay, I give you a plate of beans. Leave it here. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Relax, Chico. You'll live longer. <laughs> yeah, till tomorrow, anyway. <laughs> well, listen to him, will you? <laughs> find out. That ain't hunger, that's a famine. It usually happens when you cross the desert on the run. Yeah, and whoever crosses the desert fast got something gnawing on his conscience, huh? Right. So what's on your conscience, huh? You better check twice. He's pretty dirty. Hmm. Lucky for you, mister. You're just a starving animal. Get easy, Max. You gotta last another 12 hours. You ain't worth a cent, Dad. He'll make it till tomorrow. Hey, you imagine what he'll look like hanging in tomorrow? <laughs> he'll dangle like a puppet. Yeah. <laughs> Senor, don't pull either. Hey, I you take it easy there, Chief. You get all excited, you're gonna bust a gut. <laughs> <laughs> Feel almost human now, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, you just take it easy there now, Max. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. I'm awesome, Ray. Let's go. What'd you say? Come on, get up. You know, Sage, the least you can do for a man who wants to die to wish him a cross with his name on it. You just give him your name, and you get one. They call me Trinity. Trinity? Mm-hmm. Well, that's right hand of the devil. Come on, move. How much do I owe you? Uh, nothing, nothing. On the house. Thanks. The beans weren't much good, anyway. Hey, Trinity. They say you got the fastest gun around. Is that what they say? Yeah. Jeez. Okay, Chico, suppose you tell us what happened, huh? <coughs> there was a gringo, senor. He wanted to make love to my mujer, so I pushed him away with a little knife. A very little knife, senor. Oh, but when I look into his black eyes, they turn white, and he falls down to the ground, bada boom. <laughs> he must have hit his head. Must have hit that. Yeah, I think so, too, senor. Any witnesses? No, only me. Think hard now, Chico. You mean my wife and the knife, senor? And me. Ha. Oh, no, there was only this ring, and you want to make love to my wife, and I... Yeah, I know. And you pushed him away with a very little knife. Si, sí, senor. Ha. <laughs>
Can't you see I'm busy? Oh, wait! Only one way to let him know, Mel. Yeah, the hard way. Go on, go. Be good boys. Sheriff? Go away. Gat. If you want that tin star to see the sun again, you better set our friend free. He crawled into a woman's bed. She wanted him out, and he didn't get out. They call that carnal violence. He's gonna have to go before the judge. How do you expect the judge to see it straight? That old bag was his wife. And she would have stayed there, too, if the old man hadn't come in. She was pure and sweet up until then. Your friend chose the wrong bed. The law is a law, and strange as it may seem to the likes of you, the law is going to be respected. Now you got exactly one minute to split town. This is the last warning, Sheriff. Let our friend out. I have the impression we're going to have to elect a new sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> you run not a chance. You mean me? Yeah, I mean you, rag picker. I think he means you. Drop that holster. Hm. Now it's your turn, Sheriff. Drop it. stiff before they can draw. What did I tell you? Madre mia. Who is she, senor? The left hand of the devil. It's a long story. He's up for ransom. You know how it is. The Mexicans are always wrong. What do you have to say? Nothing. Self-defense with witnesses to the fact. Write him a pardon and send him home. No, senor sheriff. It's not true. There were no people. Mm. It, it was only this gringo. He wanted to... He wanted to ah, make stop love... stop it. He wanted to make love to my mujer, senor. If I am the bullet plug up the vein. Give me a hand. Anesthesia. <laughs> A very big knife. No, very little. Here, has some more. Yeah. Another swig.
How's our old lady? The same. She's always got something wrong with her. Now, where the devil is... In New Orleans, running a whorehouse. I was talking about the bullet. There it is. Hmm. Put your finger in it. Sweet dreams. Tomorrow you can take him back to his beloved moo hair. You're still quick on the draw, I see. That reminds me. Thanks for your help. There are only three. Yeah, for now. And let me tell you, they'll be swarming into this damn town. You'd do better to get out of here before all the dudes in the West fall into match guns. Well, I'm not looking for trouble. Yeah, he never knew how to do anything else. Distillery in here. Who's he? My brother. He's just passing through. He's leaving tomorrow. He looked and smelled like that too when he came here. Had to use three pieces of soap to see the color of his skin. So, young man, if you want to shake my hand, take a bath first. Don't want to catch no tetanus. <laughs> Hey, what's that? How'd you end up like this? Uh, there was somebody following me. The owner of the star. Mm -hmm. Two days after... Two days after my escape from the penitentiary in Yuma, I saw somebody following me. He wasn't after me. We were just going the same way. But I didn't know that, and I shot him. Found out later he was a new sheriff of this town, come to replace the one who was killed. There was this here star in one of his pockets, and so I took his place to wait for my men and head for California together. I planned a couple of good holdups, but I bet you'll manage to mess things up on me. I don't know how, but I'm sure you'll do it. Which reminds me. Well, you're of town, a real slaughter at the saloon. The major's men just pounded two of those farmers, and from now on, they'll eat nothing but pudding, because they left their teeth in the barroom floor. Hmm. Were they armed? Those farmers who go around armed, you know it, Sheriff. Come on, young fellow, let's get home and give yourself a bath and see what you look like. Well, you get washed up, and tomorrow you leave. See you later. No, you're not going to see me later. You sure you two fellows are brothers? Yep. Same mother. Seems as much dirt since the old floor of the Pecos. It's the last piece. From what I understand, there's a lot of dirt in this town, too. Well, if you're referring to the Majors, man, he just won't let up on those farmers. He keeps breaking their bones and they come back for more. Hard as nails, them farmers. Well, why don't they fight back? It's against their principles. The strange folks from back east. All they do is uh, work and pray, pray and work, pray and work, that's all they do. 
And what's my brother doing about it? Beans, that's what he's doing about it. You know something? I've never seen such a lucky sheriff in all my life. When something happens, he's someplace else, and vice versa. Hmm. He's always been very unlucky. Yeah. <coughs> well, I know you're gonna put on them rags. I wish you'd give me that last piece of soap. Hey, the sheriff. Shut up. What's got into him? The usual nightly scolding. The major's men? Yep. Well, goodbye, young fella. I'm taking the bones to bed. In case I don't see you again, uh, which is likely. Good luck to you, huh? Listen, Major. I'm getting a little weary of these punks of yours. Either they let the farmers be, or I'll have to take away their guns. Why don't you do it? Yeah, how about that, Sheriff? Hmm. <laughs> They're good boys, Sheriff. Hard-working cowhands need a little diversion when Saturday night rolls around. Like swatting helpless farmers, eh? Well, what do you expect? If the farmers insist on provoking trouble, a few fists are gonna start flying. It's only human nature. Or would you know about that? Now, I heartily suggest that you go about your business and leave me and my men in peace. Put it any way you want, Major. This is the last warning for you and for your chicken rustlers. What did you say? Chicken rustlers. Oh. Mm. You have the strangest way of doing your job, Sheriff. And let me tell you, I don't like it. Listen, boys. Come on, so I pull out. What the devil's the matter with you, Jeff? <clears throat> the sheriff's beginning to bother me. He's a bit too dull to appreciate my position in this town. <laughs> well, you learn the hard way. They work like ants, but that don't soften the major none. He wants to hog up the whole valley for his horses. What do you care? You're not the sheriff. Yeah, yeah, I know. But if he stirs up enough fuss, the rangers will get here before my boys Weasel and Timid can catch up with me. Besides, on principle, I'd hate to see him win out. Why? Because two feet this side of the valley, he's got the most beautiful pack of horses I ever seen. Unbranded. Once he drives the farmers out and brings his herd in, what chance have I got to rustle them back out again? So give him a hand. Who? The major? The farmers. Ah, it's easier said than done. Can't even root up a, a hoot owl in this here town that's willing to face the major's men. And I can't do it all alone. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. No. A dollar a day? No. And ammunition? With room and board. And you get old Jonathan to cook and wait on you. Okay. No. Then get your cockers out of here and leave me be. like they're planning to settle down. That ain't no moonlight camp they're building, Major. Not if we persuade them differently. Boys, show the brethren how to build a decent house. That structure doesn't strike me as being very sturdy. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is time for work. We can play later. Go. <laughs> Welcome, Major. Are you sure? We're not given to lying, Major. Oh, only to shading the truth. If by some dark miracle I should vanish before your eyes, I sincerely doubt you'd feel any remorse. We crave no such miracle, but only for a sense of dignity in our poverty. Oh, there is nothing more aggravating than a hypocrite. Now, you came here in a wagon with a few rags and a lot of hope. A lot of faith, Major. Yes, and by sheer coincidence, after a few months, more of your so-called brothers arrived. Then good old faith forms a community, builds a house that could shelter an army, and uh, fills the corrals with livestock. Now, yours is certainly a very dignified and uh, lucrative poverty. It was wild cattle, by God sent. Which, however, you branded quickly enough. And while my horses split their hooves grazing on rocks, your cows grow fat and shamelessly prolific like you. We sought but a small square of land on which to live. Well, this small square covers over 200,000 acres, my friend. We ask only a small part of it. There's land for all. Bring your horses to graze here, sir. We will not resent their presence. No, but they'd resent yours. Now, I advise you to pack up your goods, your people, your faith, and your cows, and uh, clear out of my valley. We've come 2,000 miles. You can go another 2,000. We have children. Oh, Major. I hate children. Major, I've tried to appeal to your sentiments. But you forced me now to remind you that we came to this valley before you. I believe it was the Lord in one of his parables who said... Blessed are the last, for they shall be the first. So why should I hurry? It is evil to be cynical. It's practical. May the Lord forgive you. Well, I hope so, but I wouldn't count on it very much. <laughs> Let this be a reminder, old man. Either you leave this valley, or I'll bury you in it. The choice is yours. Let's go, boys. To work, brothers, to work. Hold it. Who are they? It's Pascal and his raiders, Major. Once in a while, they rustle a few horses from us. Well, that's very interesting. <laughs> Welcome, brother. Thank you, brother. <laughs> 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 Ketos, you forget that you are guests? Why don't you answer Brother Tobias's greeting? <laughs> I'm glad you see your brother. <laughs> now you give this poor brother something to eat, eh? Vamos a comer, compadres. Mira, mira. Que sopa muy bonita, que hecho. Es buena. It's mierda. It doesn't taste like anything. But brother, you we are on purpose. Food to offer. Yes? No, it's not true. Uh, if you make this mess so you don't have to share it. No, I share it. I can. I'm sorry. Buy it! <laughs> This time, no fooling around. I want good soup with garlic and mucho vino. Vamos. Vamos. 
You know what that old fool would say if he was in my place? The ways of the Lord are many. This is for the sheriff. By the way, where is he? He went out of town. Thought your brothers and you were leaving town today. You want to bet something's going to happen now that he's out of town? Hey, I'm talking to you. You want to bet? They don't show your faces around here. Is that clear? Go on, get back to your cow flops. Go on, scat. Come on, Joe, wake up. Can't you come back to me? Put him in a trough. That'll wake him up. <laughs> Easy does it. Got a new sheriff. Better mind your own business. How's that? Ask the Major. <laughs> major Harrison denies us the right to make purchases in the store. Oh? Well, now, that ain't right, is it? Oh, no. That's what I say. Be right back. Easy. I don't know. I swear to start. Hold it there. Give him what he asked for. You're kidding, I hope. No. Load it up on the wagon, and fast. The Major ain't gonna like this. What were you saying about the Major? Hey, 
Hey, you gonna stay on with the sheriff? You don't talk about the sheriff. Hey, deputy. Hey, ain't you gonna stop talking about it? Here, there's one jack too many. No, here there's one major too many. Look, Major, it'd be nice if you told your men not to bother the farmers anymore. <laughs> it ain't nice to hurt peaceful people like that. Now, if your men keep it up, I'm gonna have to get them where it hurts. You sure about that? Positive. <laughs> One store destroyed. Three heads split like overripe melons. One man wounded and one castrated. All in two hours. Just two hours I left you alone. Two hours. Well, you asked me to give you a hand. Not like that, Beetle Brain. If you'd only seen those girls' eyes. They look like two frightened fawns. Two frightened fawns. They were probably two sluts looking for customers. Hey, where are you going? To the fonds. No, you're coming with me. Where? Home to get your rags and leave. Well, thank you, Sheriff. You're welcome. This was a quiet town before you came. A disgusting town, but quiet. Are you telling me? Sheriff, what are we going to do about his prisoners? Do we hang them or do we throw them out? I quit. I'm not going to work for them no more. Ah, uh, throw them out. All of them, including that Mexican junk. Oh, come on, Bambino. No sense holding Don't call eyes. me Bambino. Want me to call you Sheriff? Don't call me at all. Not even if you're drowning. Hey, with what authority are you throwing me out of town? Authority of the law. I wouldn't talk about the law if I were you. What's that supposed to mean? Well, uh, remember, you're not a real sheriff. Just a common horse thief. And not a very good one at that. Hey, hey keep quiet. So? I'm staying. And with this pinned on, a dollar a day, plus meals. That sounds like blackmail. Yeah, it does. All right, you stool pigeon. But if you start one more mess, you better disappear. The deputy sleeps in the office. Hi there, Sheriff. Shut up. Hey, Sheriff. Oh, it's you. Not the trouble again, I see. Oh, I'm a peaceful man. Where you going? The saloon. Just a little nip before going to bed. I'd like to believe that. How about it? Have one on me. Only one? Well, forget it then. Forget it here, please. Okay, that's okay. Uh, looks like the deputy sheriff's laying low tonight, huh? First chance I get, I'll fix him for good. Yeah. That dirty son of an old... Don't try it. It's quicker than a rattlesnake. Don't like the comparison, but your friend's got a point. Don't try it. Night sometimes. 
I don't think I like that. What did you say about my old lady? You're itching to start a fight. I asked you a question. What did you say about my old lady? You heard it. Well, say it again. Don't be afraid. Afraid of you? <laughs> huh? <laughs> afraid you got more cheek than a brain. <laughs> Sheriff! Wake up! Sheriff! Sheriff! Wake up! Open! In the middle of the law! It's me, Jonathan! You better get your hide over to the saloon right away! What's happened now? Your brother's over there! <laughs> they killed him? Well, he was still standing when I left. But they'll make a sim out of him if you don't hurry! Yeah. Seven of us, deputy. And you're only holding six bullets in your gun. Now, I don't know if I make myself clear. Better pay your barbell now. Don't want to leave any debts behind. Now, I don't know if I made myself clear. Help me, Sheriff. Yeah, yeah. What's going on here? They offended the law. No. Yes. They said I was a son of a no... Mm. How do you say it? How are we going to settle that, boys? If you didn't care to hide behind that piece of tin, we could settle this among men. <laughs> Aren't you going to take it off? Yeah. Only nine. No, no, no. Take the gun. <laughs> <laughs> Close the door. Lock it. <laughs> you got a hand a little long? I just woke up. You take your share. Wasn't a very bright idea, my friend. Something else planned for tonight. Well, I really came for a drink. I'm sorry, but I couldn't let them call Ma an old. But it's true. Yeah, but she ain't that old. Ain't you got no ambition in life? Do something. Rustle cattle. Hold up a stagecoach or play cards or something. Once you are a good card shark, but do something. Who's got the time? I'm already busy doing nothing. <laughs> Farmers, the major wants out. How come they're unarmed? Oh, it's part of their religion. They don't believe in violence. Huh? Oh, something like that. Well, how do they manage with the major after them? Oh, some prayers and broken bones. Welcome, brothers! 
Hey, who told him we were brothers? Hmm? Not me. It is the Lord that sends you. Truth is, we were just passing by. Then come. Come join us, brothers. Get off your horses and rest a while. It was good of you to come. We are truly indebted to you for having aided our sisters, Sarah and Judith. They were innocent doves surrounded by evil. But the Lord heard their prayers and sent you to answer them. Yeah, it was approximately like that. Sure is peaceful around here. It's like paradise. And it is. For that reason, we wouldn't want the Major to contaminate it. Ah, oh, you're right. You would honor us if you would share our meager meal with us. Want to share? Come. Right. <coughs> <coughs> Your guns, brothers. What? It is best not to sit at the Lord's table with symbols of violence. Hmm? Thank you, brother. Don't take them far away. Let us pray. Hmm? Dear Lord, we are grateful to you for these thy gifts which we are about to receive through your infinite goodness. And Lord, we ask you to bless and protect our brethren who are not with us at this time. Amen. 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 Children and sisters, leave quickly. I beg you to forgive their rudeness. They're like misguided children who know not what they do. We were passing by when I said to my men, why don't we go to pay a visit to my friend Tobias? Verdad? If you care to join us. No, don't insist, brother. I don't like to take advantage of your hospitality every day. Thank you, But you're always welcome to share our table. Ah, see? Well, then we take advantage. Hombre! Why don't you remind me to take off my holster? Don't you know Brother Tobias doesn't like to see guns at his table? Mm. Well, now you know. <laughs> You're getting <laughs> brother. How about the knife? Thank you, Bring the wine, <laughs> <it's in> your... <laughs> Quiet, everybody. Now I make a toast to Brother Tobias. I said wine, not water. Where's the wine? I'm sorry, brother. It's against... Where's the wine? Where's the wine? Hijos de puta! Get them in line! Bows go home! You two! Get in line! You two slow! No, you stupid! Ha, ha, ha! 
You no drink wine, eh? <coughs> All right, you don't drink wine, but you make love, no? No. Come on. <coughs> Wait, brother, wait. You're Please. not my brother no more. Mira, Efe, I think this will make love. Wait a minute, the other side now. <laughs> How dare you hit one of my brothers? Ask forgiveness. Forgiveness, please. Hey, where are you going? Turn the other cheek. <laughs> This one is new to me. He's very pretty. Like this. You, give me your own. Hit him. Me? I tried to warn you that my two guests here belong to another belief. They rigidly observe the law of an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. I'd say that you forgive them and return some other time. I swear, Miss Cal, don't forget this. Yeah, I can believe it. You can help yourselves. You have their guns. If Mescal comes back, one bullet in the fire will change his mind. The Lord giveth life, and the Lord taketh. Our weapons are faith and love. Well spoken, Brother Tobias. Only love shall combat evil. It is the sacred word. From my body you shall have the heat to warm your blood. And from my breast drink the nectar to quench thy thirst. And from my lips you shall hear only words of love for the Lord. Thus spake Ezekiel. And he was damned right. Your guns, brother. Oh, and your hat, brother. Thank you. Uh, if you need me. Us. If you need us, you know where we are. Get moving. <laughs> God is with us. Jonathan? Go to hell. He'll leave tomorrow. Just pass him through. In the pig's ear he is. He'll stay for the rest of his life. But for what's going on, that won't be too long. Huh. Disgusting. Disgusting people. Only safe thing left to do is blow your brain. All right, come and get it. That Mexican's so drunk he can't stand up. Oh, he's fine. He was feeling a little sick before, so I gave him a couple of drops of whiskey. Well, wasn't that mighty nice of you? I think so. 
But I always say everything wrong around here. Oh, shut up. Yeah, look at them. Go on, eat my pokers. Go on, eat up. Huh. Who knows, it may be a last meal. Why? Because I saw two new faces in town. Oh, real ugly. And they don't promise any good. Mm. Where are you going? To welcome them strangers. I thought you said you weren't looking for trouble. I don't like people with ugly faces. Get the itch out of your finger. And stay put. What would humanity have come to without the horse? The great Caesar, Alexander the Great, the great Spain. Would they really have been great without the horse? Mm -hmm. Would this nation ever have been born without the generous help of that noble animal? Now, what is the best way to pay our debt? if not to offer them a quiet, green pasture where they can eat and procreate in peace. Therefore, I want that valley at any cost. And if you convince the farmers to leave, I'll make it so worth your while, you'll be able to retire. That valley is already yours, Major. Good. First, however, I'd like you to take care of the sheriff and his deputy. Their zeal is positively disturbing. You can start electing a new sheriff as of now. That I will. You care for some sherry? It's wine. The best. Uh, no, thank you, Major. Not while working. <laughs> That's what I call professional seriousness. I advise you to watch the deputy. He's very fast. You hear that, Mortimer? The Major says the deputy's very fast. Take a look around. It's a quiet day today. See that it ends up the way it started. the first deputy, Mortimer. Hmm. OK. 
Can I help you with something, Deputy? Anything in particular you're interested in? Uh, yeah. Would you mind showing me your underwear? I suppose you got nothing to do with this, right? Sheriff, this was a peaceful town before this madman came here. Now he can't go around hitting and shooting our good citizens just because you gave him that star. In the name of this community, I demand your resignation and your deputies or I shall be forced to speak to my personal friend, the governor. We can't uh, let him get away with it, Major. Hmm. Damn the day you ever came into the world. You're worse than a black plague in a leper colony. Well, you have keys, Pam. What do you want me to do with that Mexican? Ah, uh, throw him out. But he can't stand up. Give him some whiskey and make him go to sleep. Something the matter? Nothing important. There's a reward up for me. The new sheriff I took this star from, he ain't dead. He's lame. He's looking for me all over the state. Now he wants me to give him a hand to find me. Hey, $200. You thinking of selling your own brother? Oh. That's an insult. I never do such a thing for only 200 bucks. Want to come with me? Where? Hmm. You're taking advantage because you know I'd never shoot you, right? Sure. Why in the hell don't you wise up? Go back to New Orleans to Mama. Bring her a couple of girls and go into business with her. Now beat it. Move. Well, so long. Hope to see you again someday. I don't. to stay, I would. I don't think so.
It's good to see you again, brother. What breeze brings you here? Well, actually, weren't no breeze. I'm going home, just passing through to say goodbye. You've been our guardian angel. May the Lord be with you. But if you should choose to remain with us, my son, you're more than welcome. Thank you. But I really have to go. It's a pity. Hmm. Well, as you wish. But before you leave, I know that Sarah and Judith would like to thank you personally. They're down by the creek. Oh, down by the creek? I'll get someone to fetch them. Ah, uh, don't bother, Chief. I'll be going by that way. They'll be happy to see you. Shingling. We better raise the chimney. Right. Yeah, right, brother. Yeah, right. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> You'll be leaving right away? Well, if the invitation still stands, we thought we'd stay on for a day or so. By all means. Whatever is ours is yours to share. Hmm. There's no way to stop the Major. He ain't the type to give in. He'll come charging down here before you know it. Our fate is in the hands of the Lord. Yeah, but he doesn't carry a gun either. Can't get much help there. Look, I don't think the Lord would take it wrong if you defend yourselves. We cannot kill our fellow man. But they ain't your fellow man. They're lower than rattlesnakes. We can't go on turning the other cheek forever. We shall see what God wills. I hope he wills a couple of guns. You could get rid of the whole bunch. A few at a time, of course. Listen, I suggest that... Who might they be, brother? Judging from appearances, I'd say they were wayfarers tired from a long journey. Or two outlaws escaping across the desert. Also, the Lord crossed the desert. 
Yeah. But he didn't have the U.S. Rangers on his tail. We'll see what they want. If they start making trouble, I'll be right behind you. If I'm not mistaken, it also says to give food to the hungry. Right? Wrong. <laughs> You're a weasel, ain't you? And you're looking for the Bambino. And you wouldn't know where he's been, huh? Yeah. Waiting for you to get here. What in hell are you up to now? <laughs> hey, boss! I've been rotting here for weeks waiting for you. I was beginning to think they strung you both up. We were sidetracked out on the trail. We saw somebody following us out. So we detoured around the canyon and shot him off his horse. It was a sheriff, a lean-legged sheriff. He weren't really looking for us. We just happened to be going the same way. Did you fix him for good? Well, uh... Well, almost. <laughs> Tim had got him in the good leg, then we broke his crutches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you doing with that stuff? Hiding behind the law. Huh? Now listen to me. There's a beautiful job for us. A ripe plum just waiting to be picked. Cattle? Steeds. Did you hear that? Yeah. The most gorgeous herd of unbranded <laughs> stallions you ever seen. How did you know I was here? Yeah. I, I told them. Oh, no. Now listen a minute, Bambino. I don't want... I don't want to listen. Look, I just wanted to tell you. Ah, go on, get. Hey, Didn't hold on. Didn't you hear what the bull said? Hmm? Hey, wait up. There's something important I got to tell you. Coming to town, I saw the major heading for the Mexican border. You know what that means? It means that he's going to join up with Mezcal. The farmers won't have a chance. Look, if you help me get rid of the Major, I'll, uh, get married. You what? I'll get married. To who? To Sarah or Judith. I haven't decided yet. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to settle down with the farmers. Forever. Forever? Yes, forever. I want to forget the past. Hmm? Swear on our old lady. May she become an honest woman if I'm telling a lie. a deal. I'll help you. But then we go separate ways. Or I'll make sure you really forget the past. Thanks. You won't be sorry. Yeah. Ah, uh, listen. How about taking care of the Major? I was thinking... You don't have to think. I'll do the thinking. It's exactly what I was thinking. Nena bonita! <laughs> 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 
Your men shoot us just yesterday. You see, Mr. Mescal, if you steal my horses, I'll have to have you shot. Hmm. But if you work for me, I'll give them to you. Twenty of them for chasing the Mormons out of the valley. <laughs> Major, for twenty stallions, Mescal conquered Texas. But how about the... Uh, I mean, is there some way in particular you would like us to kill those insects, eh? That's your business. There's only one thing I don't like, Major. And that is? It's that I prefer to steal the horses. See, I do the job for you and you let me steal 20 horses. Don't work for pay, it's humiliating. Better to steal, there's more motion. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Jeff, tell the men to let Mr. Mescal steal 20 horses. <laughs> Without shooting this time. <laughs> Muy bien, hombre. Why now? Let's ring to the twenty stallions. <laughs> when do we attack? When they expect it least. In a few days, send one of your men to look around and then report back to me. I send Emiliano. He would be able to crawl under your sombrero without you knowing it. <laughs> I figure there'll be about 20 of them, and every one a gunslinger. So if you don't use your guns, they'll make fertilizer out of you. Our faith prohibits violence. You don't believe the four of us can hold off the Major's crowd, do you? We'll have to ask the Lord for a temporary dispensation. Better get it in a hurry, brother. Brothers, we must make this decision now. Yes, 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 no, yes. All right. But only for self-defense. We will not kill. Well, at least that's something. Okay, let's get going. All right. Now. All right. right up now. That's it. If someone comes swinging with his right, what do you do? You flock with your left and counter with your right. You. I repeat. Block with your left and counter with your right. Got it? Yes, brother. All right, let's try. I said block with your left, not your right. See what happened? It's a question of timing. If someone comes swinging a pole at you, what do you do? I don't know. Well, you duck. Yeah. Grab him and pull him down. That clear? Uh, yes, brother. Okay. Ready? Ready. Oh. oh, no. Now watch our stun. Watch. Now look at me. You ready? Remember, the most important thing is to be fast. Is that clear? Now then, when you... Experience is always the best teacher. Now, if you ain't much at swinging your arms, you can always use your feet, like me. Ow! 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 Ready? All right, get up and you try now. Ah! 
You get him in a lot of life and bounce him up and down like this. Uh, brother, perhaps you're going ahead too fast. I have no time to waste. Don't worry, he'll be all right. You know, I was just thinking. If it's advice, save your breath. Hey, advice? I only want your opinion. All right, go on. Do you suppose there's somebody spying on us under that sombrero? Mm. It's a serious possibility. That's what I thought. Wait, though. Can you swing her out? Come here a minute. Try it by yourself. All right, now. Try the numbers. Let's try it. I think there's a spy sitting under that sombrero up there on the hill. Bring him down. Alive. Something wrong, Sheriff. Nothing important. There's only someone up there on the hill. Weasel's gone to invite him down. Heaven protect our friend. Hmm. Better protect the spy. <laughs> if you're smart, you'll talk. Who sent you? Emiliano doesn't betray, gringo. Emiliano tells everything. I'm one of Mescal's men. He mentioned, he said he promised Mescal 20 stallions if we chase the farmers out of here. Listen, you ain't going ahead with that plan without me. I know you too well. You're like an open book. Oh, yeah? Then let's see if you read right. You want to take the Mexican's place, get the 20 horses, and then? I tell you that. Am I wrong? You read right. I'm glad you're beginning to use your head. Listen, Emiliano, would you do us a favor in exchange for your stinking skin? Claro que sí, hombre. That's the spirit. Hold it right there. No, no, don't shoot. It's me, Emiliano. The mezcal set us to steal the horses. All right, but make it quick. Buenas noches, senor. Just take your 20 horses and clear out of here. Si, si. Vamos. Get. I take the two white ones. Two, three, four, five. How did it go with the farmers? Oh, fine. Six. Muy bien. Seven, eight, nine, ten, Any killings? eleven. Todos muertos. Twelve. All dead? Thirteen. Right. Children, women, old ladies, all dead. 14, Holy 15, hell. 16, 17. I see. Catch dogs, everybody. 18, what a 19. massacre. She was a nice massacre. 20, 21, 22, hey. 23, 24. Hey, you only supposed to take 20. 26. Be quiet. I lose count, no? 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Where's the sheriff? Who are you? Who are you? I'm Jonathan Swift. I give the office an order. Uh, the sheriff's gone out of town. He is, huh? When's he coming back? Well, that depends. If he catches him, he should be back around, uh... Pitches who? Or Steve's. Are these here, the men? Oh, the shitty There's a certain similarity. There is. That's the... That's the... 
That's them. That really? Well, do you know where they were headed? Well, they listened. Well, they told me they were going to the the border. Yeah, remember the border. The border. Miller's there outside the office. Yes, sir. We really right, catch up with them. They'll pay for this. Yes, sir. We went to the border. <laughs> we'll take care of the whole thing, sir. Don't you worry about the whiskey. Huh? Whiskey, Dad. Mm -hmm. Up here. You two. Oops. All the children are loaded into the wagon, Sheriff. All right, over here. Leave them. Watch the kids. Jim in. Take your boys and get around in the back of the house. You wouldn't know where Tobias is. I think he went down to the river with some of his men. And the horses? Huh? The horses, damn you. Where'd you put them? Oh, the horses. They're undercover, safe and sound. Hey, brother, look out! You seen anything? No, brother sheriff! Nothing! I mean, yes! They're coming! They're coming! Get ready! For your sheriff? What's he want? Uh, just as I guess. I heard of his horse was stolen. He wants the help of the law to punish the rustlers and get his horses back. Well, I can't help him now. I didn't think so. You're not keeping all those horses for yourself, are you? What horses? What horses? The major's horses. Did you come here to tell me that? Yeah, among other things. Such as? Well, uh, a man came to town today. Mustache, star on his chest, crutches. A typical crippled sheriff. And he was looking for the fellows who made him that way. I sent him to the border. Good. Is that all? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, the major will be here any minute. Thanks, old man. You're welcome. I want my share. Yeah, that figures. What'd you bring him for? Well, I couldn't leave him in town. Uh, he's got tends to tell the truth. He's an alcoholic, you know. Oh! Get these guns. Put the Mexican in that wagon and keep him drunk. Yes, sir, Reed, partner. Ha! <laughs> Where the devil did Tobias go? Tobias? Yeah, Tobias. Right there, Bob. I thought you ran out on us. No, we were working, brother. Working very hard. That reminds me, boss. Didn't we start digging a few graves now that we have the time? A few graves? You don't want to turn this place into a cemetery, do you? How do you think we're going to hold off the major? With faith. Faith is an impenetrable fortress. Mm. As cynical as a major may be, he would not shoot at defenseless women and children. He could be right. What do you think? Would you shoot at a bunch of women and kids? Not the kids, anyway. Well, if you wouldn't do it, then the Major certainly isn't going to do it. Now what's on your mind? Ah, uh, you're the one who does the thinking. And you came up with a good idea this time, too. Faith trick don't work. This fella's gonna be bright red.
he's playing his last card. Move in. Slowly. Aren't you going to welcome me, old man? Your silence won't keep me from destroying your dignified poverty. Why waste time, Major? Quiet. There's work to be done. Gentlemen, today will be a hard day for you, but you'll go home happy to have earned your money honestly, for once. <laughs> Destroy everything they've built, beginning with that house. But please, without yelling and making too much of an uproar, you know I detest noise. Burn the wagons and the tents and scatter those miserable cows. Then we'll depart and... Mr. Mescal will take care of the rest. Lost your tongue, old man. You've lost your battle, Major. From the very moment you descended that hill. The opinions of others, no matter how idiotic, should be respected. I certainly will not be the one to violate the rules of good manners. Jeff. Yes. Jeff, tear the house down. All right, boys. Start hacking. Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, Major. Come on back. Hold it, boys. Yeah. There's been a variation in my plan. Want us to start with the wagons and tents? No, I don't think so. Start driving out the cows? Why should those animals bother you? Well, I'm just not understanding. What should I do? Respect the principles of these people. Uh, we're in their house. Put down your guns. What? Uh, do what I say. <laughs> you see, hombre, this should make Brother Tobias very happy. He hates guns. <laughs> Excuse me, Major. I don't know what your reason is for all this, but uh, it better be good. A very good motive, my friend. Hey, look ahead. Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Plan worked like a miracle. Well, Sheriff, this, uh, this really is very embarrassing. Have you seen what faith can do? It'll work if you put it in a rifle barrel. Well, I guess that's it. For the moment, but this won't end here. Oh, yeah? No major, it ends here. It's got to end here. of Coelet, son of David, king of Jerusalem. Your hat, please. There's a time to be born and a time to die. 
Yeah. To love and to hate. There's a time to... Brothers! It says here there's a time to fight and a time to win! Win, brothers! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get off! 
get out of the basket. Thank you, brother. Thanks, hell. Load up horses and let's get out of here. Okay. All right, the valley's yours, but give me back my horses. What horses? The ones you stole from me. Hey, watch what you're saying, Major. You're a horse, Steve, and you know it. <laughs> One thing about that Major, he never lies. <laughs> Major, you ever been to Nebraska? I heard there's some beautiful pastures there. That, uh... Idea about Nebraska doesn't sound too bad. Hey, Major, Nebraska's that away. Thank you, all. Forget it. I was rendering thanks to the Lord, brother. Oh. The insidious hand of Satan has left this land. Accept our humble thanks, O oh Father. Hey, boss. What's this mean? Take a look. What's that? It's our brand, brother. They're the tables of the holy law. Naturally, you don't know nothing. Huh? Well, I thought, after all, it's only right that these people get paid back for damages, and so... And so? <laughs> I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at our ma. She should have strangled you, or at least drowned you when you were born. Why, you no good crawling son of a lord. Don't be angry, Sheriff. It was the hand of destiny. Wait! Go to hell, you, with your destiny, your sisters, your brothers, your ancestors, your cows, and everything. Let us pray. Oh, yeah. O oh Lord, to your glory we raise our chalice of love. Take into your fold this lost sheep, who in penitence has thrown his weapons of evil into the purifying flame of your forgiveness. Circumcise the seeds of wrongdoing which have blemished his soul. Accept him back into the light of your spirit. He shall labor till he grows weary with fatigue. He shall irrigate these vast fields, seed and pick the fruits of his labor. He will cut woods, build houses, and raise cattle. And when each hard day's work is done, he shall return home with joy for so much fatigue. Then gathering his loved ones around him, he will give thanks to you, O Lord, for guiding him through the travails of his life on earth. We thank thee for the many blessings you have bestowed upon us and hope always to be worthy of your love. Amen. 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 Where is our new brother? Come on, Bambino. Why don't you want me to come with you? Get out of here if you don't want to get plugged in the back while you're sleeping. But I'm your brother. I'm beginning to doubt it. Look. 
I'm heading west for California, which means you're going east. around these parts? With faces like hangmen, you mean? Are these the men? Yeah, that's them. And they robbed me. They wanted to take my boots, too. But then they saw you and took off. Which way did they go? that away. way Yeah. 